Well, my rule is quite simple. I treat people the way I would want to be treated. That involves involving the patient in their own care, giving them lots of information so that they understand each part of the, the practice and the process that they're going through. And I believe that when you educate patients like this, they're far more at ease when they come to the surgery and in the post-operative care. Well, of course, the consultation process is a two-way event. It's not only the patient finding out about the surgery and finding out about whether the surgery is for them, but it's also about the surgeon assessing the patient's suitability for the surgery. And that suitability can be something physical like whether they're a smoker or a diabetic, or it can be whether they're emotionally ready for surgery. We all know that patients who are undergoing major changes in their lives, such as divorce, uh, moving house, etc., that's not a good time to be thinking about surgery. So again, this process is two-way, two and involving the patient and assessing the patient is critical to a good outcome. Again, the first thing is information, keeping the patient in the loop telling them that you're going to take care of them and that you're going to do your very best to deal with any complication that occurs. Complications are a part of surgery and of course if you've informed the patient of the risk of complications and the likelihood of those complications with figures etc, if they get a complication they're far more likely to go with you into the reparative process. Thank you.